to come in and eat? Everybody wants to eat their breakfast. Come on. <laughs> you hear him crying in the background? <laughs> breakfast some chicken um, chopped up green beans broccoli carrots um, what else is in there a little bit of cottage cheese you want your breakfast you want your breakfast now yes you guys hungry huh you hungry okay let me pass these out I'll be right back all right Everybody's chowing down their breakfast this morning. And yes, a lot of people ask, are they still um, eating their kibble? Yes, they still eat their kibble. They do not refuse any food that's put in their bowl. <laughs> they, um, at lunchtime, that's all they get is their kibble, uh, their dry food. So they do not, they're not getting finicky. They will eat whatever is put in front of them. I had to start, as I was trying to, I started to see in my video yesterday before I thought my son was coming down the stairs, I bought a little food processor because I noticed Miggy um, didn't really care for the uh, vegetables in bigger pieces. Um, he'd eat them, but it'd take him a long time. He's kind of finicky about it. He'd take them out of his bowl, eat the chicken first, and then eat the vegetables. But So I got a little... Uh, food processor to chop up the vegetables really fine and he's been doing just fine that way now he enjoys it better that way he didn't like the big chunks of vegetable and my vegetables somebody asked do I cook them nope I just let them thaw out I buy frozen bags of vegetables I just let them thaw out I don't heat them up anything I do warm up their food a little to get the chill off um, but I don't cook the vegetables um, just let them thaw out, and then I chop them up because uh, I figure if I boil them or cook them in the microwave, they're going to lose all their nutrients. So, at least that's what I've heard. Let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong. But I've heard if you boil them up, um, more nutrients are lost. So, um, and then the chicken, I boil. I have given them boiled, grown, lean, very lean turkey meat too, and they love it. Um, but that's more expensive than the chicken. <laughs> That might be a treat sometimes. Oh, my daughter's sneezing. Everybody's having some sinus issues with this heat, so. All right, guys, I'll be back later. All right, just got back from going to the grocery store. Look at everybody. Everybody thinks they're getting something because I'm out in the kitchen. Look at them. <laughs> I had to take a, oh, excuse me, Max, excuse me. I had to take a cooler with some ice in it. Um, this is just a styrofoam cooler we got. My husband ordered some Omaha steaks um, a while back. And I thought, this might come in handy sometime. So left it in the garage and it came in handy today because it is a scorcher out there. And I had to go to a, I had to go to a couple different stores. So it came in handy. And let me tell you what, those Omaha steaks, oh my goodness. I can't remember... Um, Oh, something tender, tender. I can't remember the name of the steak, but oh my goodness. And then there was one wrapped in bacon. They were the best steaks <laughs> I've ever had, even at a steak restaurant. They were so good. They like melted like butter in your mouth. Oh my goodness. I told my husband, we got to order those again. So I got some mail um, when we were out. I stopped at my P.O. box and I wanted to share what I got. Um, one person sent me a card and letter, but didn't want um, anything about it to be mentioned on our videos, but I wanted to show that I received it. And thank you so much for the letter. I, I'll be writing you back. Um, and then I also got a bag full of squirrels. And isn't it funny? I got a bag full of squirrels and then a card with a squirrel on it. So this is like a themed <laughs> um, package day. So um, they sent this in with the toys. Uh, it says, you have been doggy ding dong ditched. Have you ever seen in other people's videos, this is how I found out about this ding dong ditched. 
Um, I watched She's in Her Apron, Kimmy on She's in Her Apron, and I remember it was either Halloween or Christmas time. You take a little treat. Um, I, there may be other ones, but hers was they took like some Christmas cookies or Halloween cookies, I can't remember, and they sit them on the neighbor's porch and they put a little note with it um, explaining what it is. And then you, then you then, you put a, the piece of paper in the window to say that you've already been ding dong ditched. Um, and then you um, take a treat to another neighbor. So kind of a cool idea, but they said since we don't live close, of course, um, they had to send it in the mail. But um, this is what it says. Uh, a fun twist on an old prank, but in a good way. In this bag, you'll find a fun surprise for your fur baby. We hope we hope they enjoy the surprise as much as we did picking it out. Be sure to go to fb.me slash doggy ddd and share your surprise. Pick a pooch you can surprise and keep the fun going. Just remember, keep it anonymous. Don't tell, don't tell you're bringing the gift. That's where the ding dong ditch part part comes into play, and have fun doing it. Um, she said her son and her started doing this as a fun way to leave surprises for his doggy friends he misses and won't get to see because of COVID-19. Uh, they do pet care. I uh, hope the boys enjoy. Please keep the surprise going if you can, which my daughter and I already know who we're going to, we're going to do the surprise for. So thank you so much. It's, that's such a cool idea. So let me share all the squirrel toys they sent. <laughs> It was so cool that they were all squirrels. I'm trying not to show, that's my address. I'm trying not to show any addresses. Let me just pull it off the camera here. So there's this one. This one kind of looks like a chipmunk, but we called it a squirrel because they have that stripe on their sides. And then we got this one here. Dogs are gonna love these. Um, then we got, oh, let me get them out of here. I was like, what is this? What is going on? <laughs> and we got this uh, stuffless, has no stuffing in it, squirrel. I should have had these out of the bag. Sorry, guys. Then we got this one here. And then this one here. And I think that, oh, no, I think there's one more. And then there's this one here, this squirrel. <laughs> they know that my boys like squirrels. This is such a cool idea. So yes, we already know who we're gonna pick um, to leave, leave a little prize for their, surprise for their doggy. So thank you guys, that was so kind uh, to send those. Let me see, does it have their name on there? Probably, and I didn't think. Uh, not on there. Nope, it says to keep anonymous. So they sure did. No names on that. So that is so cool. So yes, we're going to go out and pick out some surprises for uh, someone who has two doggies and drop it off to their door. Um, yes, yeah, so thank you guys so much. That's so cool. All right, guys, we're going to end this video. There was something else I wanted to answer. Someone had asked some questions. You know what? I can't remember offhand, so... If anybody has any questions um, that they've been wanting to ask me and I haven't gotten to them in a video or responded to them in the comments, um, leave them in the comment section below this video. And tomorrow's video, I'll try to answer some of those questions. Some, I'll, I'll try to answer some that I've never answered before, maybe in video. So if anybody has any questions, leave them down below and we will get to those tomorrow because I know... I'm forgetting to answer something that I wanted to answer in this video. Why are you smelling your food container? You just got fed lunch. You shouldn't be hungry. Are you always hungry, Marley? <laughs> See, wagging the tail, that means yes. <laughs> You're always hungry, right? <laughs> They're always hungry. All right, guys, look at this. Kitty wants to check out these toys. Kitty, you're not supposed to be up there. You better get down. You better get, yes, you get in your seat. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Bye. Okay, let's pass out these toys. Let's pass out these toys without being mean to one another. <laughs> There's...
Here's another one. Here's one, Mazzy. Here's one, Miggy. Get that one. Okay. Here's one, Marmar. There you go, Marmar. Oh, here's the other one. It's over here, Max. You might like that one. There you go. Yes. Oh, a couple people left with theirs. A couple people left with their squirrels. Look at Max. Max, you even like yours? You like yours too. Max really isn't a toy person now. Oh, you like this one. Yeah. Oh, he took Milo's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Milo, let me see your squirrel. Oh, Miggy, where's your squirrel? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, he's growling at Kitty. Think you think Kitty wants your squirrel? You think Merlin wants your squirrel? Thanks for the squirrels, whoever sent them. Bye.